Hey, this is Dean Soto from the Online Empire Academy, and this is the last of the more how-to kind of data videos uh, for Keyword Inspector Reverse ASIN. We're gonna go through the last and final, at least the one that I think is the last and final of the different options that you can choose with a Reverse ASIN when you are running a Reverse ASIN search, and that's gonna be this Reverse ASIN PPC sponsored ad search, okay? So if you haven't checked out the other reverse ASIN videos, I have a, uh, a bunch more out there <clears throat> that you can check out. Uh, this is very much a data and boring video. If you want to see how to actually use reverse ASIN, and uh, you're gonna, the cool thing about this particular video is uh, you're going to uh, – in the free resource that I share at the very end of this, the free resource that I share at the very end, you're gonna see how to use reverse ASIN PPC as well as extensive to really dominate your competition as well as spy on them and any of their sponsored ad campaigns that they had. So uh, all that being said, let's, uh, let's go into this. We're gonna do the reverse ASIN PPC, okay? Uh, and look at the data that you get from that. So let's take our little silicone glove uh, demo we're using this one right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the ASIN up on top <coughs> okay uh, and then we're gonna go back get rid of that and we're gonna go back to here and click this reverse ASIN PPC and then we're gonna add scroll up and go to the ASIN area up there and then scroll down and go to start reverse ASIN search and it's going to give us the usual click here to see your process reverse ASIN searches. It's going to, it you typically takes a little while, but let's see. Oh, it, it's right up there. You'll actually see that it says reverse PPC. Cool thing about reverse PPC is you get 13 days or really 14 days to um, see all this. And now, as with all the other videos, when I mentioned this, when it this is 13 days before this expires before the data expires the thing is every day or every other day it's actually refreshing that data during those 13 days so you don't have to run a new search every single time okay and then over here on the uh, member on up here where it says total monthly expiring credits used for this ASIN this is all cumulative so if you did this twice if you did the the search twice it'll actually say six and then nine etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so if we go here um, we see that it says reverse PPC right there we also have one for the same thing that's a simple and a simple all and a simple search but we're doing the reverse PPC version right here and if we click in here some before I click in here sometimes you're gonna see something sometimes you're gonna see nothing okay uh, especially if you run a search and it comes up if you go to reverse ASIN history right here and uh, you don't see anything at all or it says errors, a lot of the times this reverse PPC comes, uh, you'll see a bunch of errors in it, with it, okay? Um, it just, and I'll tell you why when I click into here, okay? So when you click in here, I actually find, find something, okay? So that's cool. All right, so sometimes you'll get a bunch of errors and the reason being, okay, uh, the reason being you get uh, er you know errors or you won't find anything in here is because that usually means that that particular ASIN has never had any sponsored ad campaigns running f for it, okay? So this means, this is telling us right now, this has had a, uh, sponsored campaigns running for it and it has had a lot, okay, over a long period of time. So that's pretty cool to know. So let's look at some of the columns and then we'll go into uh, this whole thing. So first column is keyword. That's the actual keyword, that keyword inspector. As this was going through and, and looking at this keyword right here, potholders OXO, th this is saying that when keyword inspector saw that, uh, saw the data, the organic data for potholders OXO, it also saw this ASIN that we're searching for in a sponsored ad, okay? Which means that this ASIN was targeting this in some way. It could have been from an automatic campaign, could have been from a manual campaign, we don't know, but it was targeting this at some point in time. Next column says day first found. It first found that it was targeting 
that on April 9th, 2016, okay? Uh, the last day it was found was 6-14-2016. Now, why did it take two months for it to, uh, to not be found anymore? Well, it could be that they were trying to rank for that and it just wasn't not, it wasn't working. So they said, you know what, we tried two months of this, it's not gonna work, okay? Double pot holder, this, this was lasting for about five months, four or five months. So this must have been working for a while and then all of a sudden maybe some comp competition came in, okay? So day last found. And then you can click this new listing graph and click that required 14 credits and it'll go and try and make some graphs for you. Sometimes if I hit the refresh, see if it pops up with graphs. Yeah, so then it'll pop up with graphs and you'll see them come up over time. Um, I, I don't know what they actually mean, but I'm guessing that it coincides with when it was last found. And some, sometimes it's like, yeah, I don't, I actually don't know what they mean. <laughs> so I use it for my business, but I don't know, you know, so I, I, I don't usually look at the graphs very much. All right. So if you go through, you're going to see that this actually has one, one, two, three, four pages. Okay. And I don't know how many actual total, uh, keywords it has. It has a ton. Um, but if I, I'm gonna go click the fourth page on this thing. And so this is kind of more modern. So this 2017, this is from 20, 221 to 221, it found Dutch Ovens Mario. I wanted to find one where it was like more, uh, where it's just been a long one, where, uh, but I guess it's not, uh, they don't have one, where maybe it's still found in tw uh, 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 2017, but started in 2016. But uh, it just gives you a ton of of uh, data as to whether it found a PPC campaign, a sponsored ad campaign for this product, um, and when it was first found and when it was last found. So you can kind of get a an idea. So I show uh, so I show in some free training how to use this along with the extensive to really spy on your competitors, to really know how to, how to dominate them uh, with sponsored ads or to uh, dominate them on the uh, on listing optimization, okay? So if you wanna get that free training, uh, all you have to do is go to www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse. That's www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse. And you'll see how to use both the extensive and the PPC to really grow your business, to, to, to take your products to the next level on Amazon. So once again, that's www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse, and you'll get that free training. Really, really awesome stuff. All right. Uh, in the next few tutorials, we're probably going to move on to Kippert, um, uh, Kippert or Trends. I think I think I might actually go on to the Trends uh, first. So uh, that's the end of all of the reverse ASIN stuff. Hopefully, you guys loved this, uh, at least from the data point of view. I know it didn't go much into the business point of view, but that's why I make my other trainings uh, for people who want that, who actually, because there's two types of people uh, that I've seen, the people who kind of get stuck in the weeds, who want the, just the data and to know what these columns mean, and then there are people who actually want to do business with this thing. So um, I try and separate those two things out really, really, really uh, because uh, they're, they're two very, very different type of people. So if you want that, www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.